I just don't quite understand. The phone was somewhere, but she's not on it. Five minutes, weird. Five minutes in, and it looks like nobody's connected now. Natasha. Oh, hey. You have uh, seven people connected. Oh, okay, great. That's fantastic. I was just looking, I've been getting a lot of feedback. I'm trying to like get audio, like some music and stuff to like too. And everybody's device is picking up all the speakers. <laughs> I think we got it sorted out now. <laughs> okay. Just wasn't sure if you were able to see the different people on your phone. Great. I, I switched to an iPad and right now I just see you and me. So participants, let me go there. Uh, okay. It looks like people have their cameras and mics turned off right now. Okay. And is that okay on your end with the sound? Yeah. Okay. Never know like feedback and stuff. Okay. So yeah, just let me know if you need any feedback and I'll unmute myself. Do I invite everybody then? No, they're watching you. It's all good. Oh, oh I just don't I don't see everybody. Okay. No, yeah. I they only see yeah. They only see you. Okay. Well, there we go. All right. Well, hello everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to uh, today's family and uh, kids yoga. Uh, from my home studio. Um, <laughs> so we'll, we'll begin. Uh, if you want to, um, if you have a yoga mat, you can lay that out. Um, as well, if you've got a stuffed animal that you want to bring um, or grab if it's close by, blanket, a pillow, just anything so you can really get comfy. We're going to begin by just sort of centering ourselves first, focusing on our breath. Then we'll move a bit, we'll dance a bit. You're welcome to sing a bit if you want to sing along with some of the songs. 
Uh, and then we'll, we'll wind down and we'll move. So you'll sort of see like the practice will build like we're going up on a roller coaster and then we'll reach our peak and then we'll come down and just leave you feeling, hopefully feeling more relaxed um, and uh, just feeling stretched out. Um, so yeah, grab a friend, a brother, well, not, I guess not a friend today, right? But uh, hopefully we're still all friends with everybody that's in our homes. Um, so you can practice with other people, even um, if you've got any four-legged furry friends around, cats and dogs love to get invited to the practice. So come on over, I'm gonna move over to my yoga mat and we'll begin. So just sitting comfortably, you can be sitting on a pillow, sitting crisscross applesauce, hands can come to rest just down on your knees. If you're feeling like you have a lot of energy to share with your home, with your family and with the world, you can turn your palms up and rest the backs of your hands on your knees, sitting nice and tall, imagining that somebody comes around and just pulls this invisible thread, just straightening all of your vertebrae, sitting up nice and tall. You can just begin to close your eyes or just gaze down at the mat in front of you. We're going to begin by taking three nice deep cleansing breaths. So we'll inhale. And exhale. Inhale in through the nose. And let's exhale it to the mouth. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And we'll just bring a little movement to our bodies now. As you inhale, just bring one ear down to the shoulder, just gently stretching out these neck muscles, especially for some of us who maybe are still waking up from our evening slumber. Just connecting with that breath, imagining that you're filling this invisible balloon. So as you inhale, your belly gets nice and big. And as you exhale, it gets nice and small. Head comes up through center, inhale, and exhale, opposite side. Hanging up here for a few breaths. Inhale, bring your head up. And let's exhale, bringing our chin down to our chest. Just stretching out the back of the neck there. So the reason we're spending a little bit of time, we'll inhale the head up, focusing on the neck is because I realize that a lot of us are probably spending a lot more time on our devices, our tablets and phones and computers. So this area of our bodies, the necks can become quite tense. So now that we've done a little warm up, we're just going to practice some little half circles. So inhale, nice tall head. Exhale, bring the ear down to one side. And then we're just going to connect with that breath. Inhale as we roll the head through to the front. Exhale as the ear comes to find the opposite shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale through center. So these are lovely. You can do these as little breaks as you're working online. And let's inhale, coming through center, and then lifting the head straight up. Beautiful. So let's bring a little bit more movement into our practice. And we'll just turn our attention to our hands. So just bringing our hands out in front, we're going to open and close. Open and close. Open, 
close. And then we can connect with our breath. So inhale as we open, making little stars with our fingers. Exhale as we make little meteors or little rocks. Inhale. Those of you that are dancers, you might know this is jazz hands. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And now we're going to move and begin to focus a little bit more on the wrists. So we're going to bring the hands out in front and we begin to circle the hands. So the pinky fingers trace around. And I like to think like I'm moving through water. So just imagine that all those lakes have melted and we can begin to swim in them again. So we dip our pinkies in, exhale as we come forward. And we're going to make a bigger movement with this now. So bring your hands down towards your legs. And we'll begin to connect with that breath. So inhale as we dip the pinky into the water. And exhale. And we're going to begin to rise up. Arms will slowly make their way overhead. And from here you can connect. Maybe you're a bird that has left the water. And you're drying your wings in the sun. And you're flying away to find a tree. Once we've reached the top, let's see if we can turn the circles in the opposite directions. So the thumbs come in first. Connecting with that breath, inhaling and exhaling. And the arms slowly begin to lower. These are little movements, but these are great for those of us that are spending lots of time, you know, gaming or if we're on our devices. And then just have a little fun with this. So see if you can do one hand at a time, and then just make this movement really big. And you can begin to rock from side to side where you're sitting. You can bring your arms down to the sides. And they can be moving in the same direction, or you can switch directions. So we're just engaging more the various parts of the body, the shoulders, the neck, and the hips a little. Beautiful. Let's bring our hands all the way up now. One nice full in breath. And we'll exhale to bring the palms down. Do that two more times. Inhale, scooping up all this beautiful energy. Exhale, palms returning that energy down to the ground. Last time, inhale. And exhale. I'll just roll out the shoulders a few times. And switching directions. All right, so what we're going to do is rise up. Let's begin to slowly make your way to standing. We're going to come into our first little balancing pose of the day. But first, we'll just spend a little time just grounding those feet. So I like to always imagine that growing up from my heels and all ten toes, there's some roots. And they're growing through the floor and connecting with the earth. And they're providing a nice stable platform for me to balance. And then just begin to rock from heel to toe, feeling all points of the feet connect. And you can begin to bring your arms back and forth if your body's really craving more movement today. All right. Now just a word about leg placement for families if we have some adult bodies practicing today. The feet can be totally together if this is comfy. So this tends to be quite comfortable for children. But for adults, it may feel comfier to just separate the feet slightly. So I find about a fist distance between the feet can provide more comfort when we come into the balancing pose of tree. 
Arms come to rest, palms facing forward. This is called mountain pose. So just taking a couple breaths here, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And for those of you that have been fortunate enough to perhaps hike on a mountain, maybe just take yourself back to that memory in your mind. You can close your eyes or just begin to daydream about that experience. Connecting with all the senses. What did you see? What did you smell? What did you hear? What did you feel? Did you feel the warm rays of the sun on your face? Did you hear the call of birds or other wildlife? Beautiful. So to come into our tree pose, we're going to slowly begin to transition and we can practice this on the, the right foot first, but really either foot. So begin to shift that weight to the left and the right knee lifts and turns to the side. And so I like to call this in my children's yoga class, baby tree. So just the toes are resting on the floor or your yoga mat, and the heel is just resting against the ankle. Arms can come out to the sides of the branches of a tree to provide additional balance. Some of you may be ready to maybe move into a little bit more of a mature tree, so an older tree, placing the sole of the foot along the calf. So really you can place the sole of the foot anywhere along the leg that feels comfortable for you. And this knee, the lifted knee is turning and opening to the side. Your next little stretch here. And once you feel stable, still imagine those roots connecting with the ground, you can inhale and grow those branches. Arms reaching overhead, arms spread wide, your fingers spread wide. And you begin to just sway a bit. And if you fall on your tree, smile and come right back in. Just be gentle with yourself. You're not judging how strong we are or what we can do from one day to the next. And let's inhale to come to stillness. There's a raven or maybe an eagle flying by, looking for a place to just take a little rest. Perhaps it finds its way to your tree branches. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lowering down. Pedaling up those feet. You can shake them out if you're feeling if they're fatigued or maybe worked a little, return to this rocking back and forth. And then we'll set up for the opposite side. So just imagining those roots growing out from the right foot and begin to turn the opposite knee away, coming into baby tree, arms coming out to the sides. You can also grow that tree, placing the sole of the foot anywhere along that leg. Perhaps some of you are feeling like you want to come into one of those hundred year old trees. You can bring your foot up a little higher, depending on the slipperiness of your pants today. You may find that that's a bit more challenging. And let's inhale as we grow those branches, arms reaching overhead, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, Fingers spread wide. And this time you can begin to just wiggle the fingers. And let's go back to the time that we were maybe hiking through the bush. Just imagining, connecting with the senses, what we saw, what we felt. So beautiful now that it's spring. See more and more people getting out for nice walks. Inhale. Now let's exhale, slowly lowering those arms down. 
And you can just pedal up those feet, shake up those arms. Lovely. So the next pose we're going to do is kind of a silly pose. Um, so standing in a comfortable pose. So for little ones, it can be totally together. Adults, maybe a little, little space between the feet. We just relax the arms. Stand nice and tall, and we're going to begin to connect with the breath and turn. So it looks like this. We inhale, we turn to one side, we let our arms flop, exhale, turn to the other. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And just allowing the arms to tap on the front and back of the body, just gently beginning to twist and move all through the spine. And then we'll bring the hands to fists and tap on the front and the back. So it looks like this. This is just gently giving yourself a little tapping massage. And we'll come to stillness. Shake those hands out. We're going to inhale, reaching all the way up. And exhale to begin to hinge forward, allowing the hands to reach down towards the feet. So this is called rag doll. So perhaps some of you, your hands are dangling in the space. Perhaps some of you can place fingers on the mat or palms. So hang out here in this rag doll for a few breaths. And you can begin to release the head. So just gently begin to nod the head, yes. And then shake the head, no, gently. Coming to stillness here. Just begin to sway from side to side. Perhaps your fingertips can brush along the floor from your yoga mat. Connecting with that breath, inhaling and exhaling. Let's come to stillness. Are we going to inhale to begin to slowly rise up one vertebrae at a time? The last thing to lift will be your hands. Lovely. So next we're going to come down onto all four in the tabletop. So the knees are about hip distance apart, palms are directly underneath the shoulders, fingers are spread wide, toes can either be tucked or they can be pressing toenails into the floor or mat. So nice flat back here. We're just going to run through some cat calves. So the inhale, we drop our belly, gaze up to the beautiful sky today. And it is a beautiful day here in Yelena. Nice blue sky, beautiful sun. Exhale, as we arch the back and the crown of the head, the top of the head comes down. So this is very similar to what you see your cats doing. It's what it's called cat stretch. Inhale as we come up into cow. Belly coming down towards the mat, looking up to the beautiful sky. Exhale. And you can begin to move as quickly or as slowly as your body desires. Just connecting with that breath. So if you begin to move a little faster, it might look a little something like this. So let's find our way back into that tabletop. And for those of you that have a little stuffy close by, let's just grab that stuffy, be a pillow as well. And let's just 
place it on our back. So I'm using a little charm here. So it just gives us something to balance. This could be a blanket or a pillow, or if you had a magazine. And what we're going to do now is we're going to lift opposite hand and leg. So begin, as we inhale, we lift the right hand and then the opposite leg. Exhale, lowering down to the ground. Inhale, opposite hand, opposite leg lifting. We're engaging the core, all of those tummy muscles. Let's do a few more on either side. And reaching with the fingers and toes. Fingers and toes are spread wide. Exhale as you lower. Inhale as you open and reach. Exhale, lower. Let's do one more on either side. See this time maybe as you inhale, you can lift a little higher. Exhale, lowering down. Last one on this side. Inhale, see if you can lift a little higher. Exhale, lower. We're going to come into child's pose now. So you can leave whatever's balancing on your back. It may fall off, that's okay. So to come into child's pose, the knees can be together. Or for adults, you can open the knees apart to allow more space for belly to pass. And we just begin to walk those hands away and lower down. Bringing the forehead to the mat. Or another option is to stack those fists and rest the forehead on the stacked fists. Bringing the bum down towards those heels. And we'll just hang out here for a couple breaths. Just feeling your belly expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, just allowing your body to relax. Just checking in to see if you're holding any tension anywhere in your body. And on your next exhale, just releasing that tension, perhaps by breathing out through your mouth. We're going to begin to transition here. Just inhale to begin to rise up, walking those hands back towards those knees, perhaps reaching behind and taking your little stuffy pillow or book or whatever you're using and placing it off to the side. All right. If you have a little drink of water close by, maybe having a little sip. Very important when we're exercising to make sure we stay hydrated as well. So um, I have a little song that I'm going to put on for us right now just to change it up a little bit. Remember I said we were going to kind of climb that little roller coaster and then bring the practice back down. So this little song is called Yogini Went to See and it's an action song. You can sing along and we'll need to come to standing. All right. Yogi went to see, 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 to see what she could see, 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 but all that she could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue, see, see, see. So you can follow along with the action. So catch on. Jai, 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 to see what she could, jai, 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 but all that she could, jai, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue, jai, jai, jai. You dance on your mat. Me, 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 to see what she could me, 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 all that she could me, 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 was on the beautiful me, me, me. Oh, everybody, I think I'm being joined by a special guest. What she could, what she 
legs out in front. And we'll just popcorn the knees a little. So popcorning, just imagine popcorn cooking on the stove or on the campfire. It pops up as the knees pop. And we'll just begin to rock the feet from side to side. Just engaging all of these leg muscles, feeling strong through the bones, coming to stillness. Let's inhale as we pull the toes back towards us. Exhale as we step on the gas so the toes point forward. Inhale as the toes come back. Exhale, toes forward. Inhale and exhale. We're going to come into a forward fold now. So inhale, arms reaching up overhead, fingers spread wide. Exhale as we hinge forward, reaching towards those toes. But it's okay if you don't touch them. The intention is to be reaching there. Hands can rest either on toes, on tops of the legs on either side of the legs on the mat. So this can be a really nice one to do if you're practicing as a family. You could be back to back. So you could feel the back of your brother or sister, mom and dad, whoever is home with you. Feel their back pressing in and perhaps connecting with the breath. You might notice that your breath begins to Hmm, become sort of one. You begin to inhale and exhale at the same time. Let's bring a little movement here. Inhale as we rise up. Exhale as we come forward. And this time as we inhale, rise up, placing those hands on top of the legs, and inhale, rising up as you imagine your fingertips. There being a paintbrush across a blank piece of paper. Arms come overhead. Exhale, reaching for the toes. Inhale, fingertips brushing across the tops of the legs. Arms coming up. Exhale, coming forward. Perhaps coming a little deeper into this forward fold, but it's okay if you don't. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, folding. Now let's just change this up here. Let's bring the sole of the feet together now. So I find once I start to do this in my body, I need to sort of wiggle around to find a comfy place with my, with my seat behind me. So hands can come and rest on the ankle, sitting up nice and tall. And by holding onto those ankles, we begin to stretch out all of these neck muscles and shoulder muscles. So closing your eyes here, and just softening your gaze. And apologies, I have to let Chloe back in, so I'll be right back. So just inhale, nice deep breath in, and exhale. Complete, full breath out. All right. And I'm going to cue up our next song here. Just hanging out here for a moment. So this next song is called Fly Like a Butterfly. So if there's any adults practicing and this is beginning to get a little uncomfortable, you grab a blanket or a pillow and place that underneath your sit bone just to change up your pose a little bit. We have the professional showing us downward jog and the master. <laughs> All right. So soles of the feet are touching and the knees are opening like the wings of a butterfly. And you can sing along. This is a song that repeats itself. <laughs> so the movements for this, you just begin to flutter 
your knees like so you've got a pet at home just give them a little love and the words are going to change in the song so feel free to sing i can't hear you <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so still flapping those little butterfly wings. Stretching out. All right. Take a nice full breath in and rock from side to side. If at any point you feel like you need to straighten your legs, straighten them to that popcorn and then come right back. Listen to your body. Lovely. Thank you everyone for joining that. Um, so let's just straighten those legs and popcorn. Just popping those knees up and down, rocking those feet from side to side. Beautiful. We are going to, if you're sitting on something, just pull that out from behind you. And we're going to shift now. So placing the feet out in front, sitting on your bums. <clears throat> and if you have a little stuffed friend or something, you can bring that, place it between the feet. Knees are reaching up. Hands are gonna come behind, fingertips pointing towards our bodies. And we'll inhale, so you just rise up, pushing hands and feet into the mat. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale. And exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Perhaps coming a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale. Pushing through those feet and hands. Hang out here for a few breaths. Feeling nice and strong. Inhale, lifting that tummy. Those hips a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Let's come into a little ball now. So by a little ball, you're going to tuck our knees. We'll reach around the knees, interlace those fingers, and we're going to come and balance on our bums. So the toes can stay. You're going to have toes touching to help with balance. Or if you're ready, the feet rise up. Inhale, giving yourself a big hug. Exhale, lowering those feet down. We're going to add on. Let's inhale, placing those hands underneath, yes, Chloe, underneath the legs and straightening one leg. Inhale, exhale, lowering down. Let's do that on the other side. Inhale, you straighten one leg. Exhale, lowering down. And if you're ready, either just repeating single legs. Or inhale as you rise up and both legs rise up. Knees can stay bent or you can straighten the legs. <laughs> so much love from Chloe today. Exhale, lowering down. We're going to come into that one more time. So you can continue with single legs or if you're ready, it's called boat pose. So imagining a boat floating on the rivers or lakes near your home as you come into this pose. And this time we'll straighten the arms as well. So inhale, exhale, as you begin to come back, balancing, and then straightening those arms and the legs. Taking a few breaths here. Imagine the last time you were out on the water, Maybe you were fishing, 
Maybe you're hunting with family and friends. Exhale, crossing the feet and coming forward. So coming forward and to rest on your tummy. So I have this little glitter bottle that I like to use. I'll just bring it a little closer. These are easy to make. It's just a recycled bottle. And you can put glitter, you can put buttons, anything plastic that will float and not dissolve. So what I like to do to calm the breath, especially when working in stressful times, is place this in front, shake it up really well, and come to lie on my tummy and just breathe until all the glitter settles. So I realize you might not have one of these at home, but you can make one. So we'll just put that down, have the lie in your tummy, hands can be crossed, resting your chin on the hands, and just breathing. Inhale, feeling the belly push into the mat or floor, and exhale as you just allow your body to relax, letting go of any stressful thoughts or feelings, and just being present, beginning to turn towards the things that maybe you're grateful for, the things that are going really well right now. So I know some things that I'm thankful for are being home with my family, and my dog. I'm very thankful for spring. And maybe you're simply thankful just for showing up and just practicing a little bit of yoga. Just gonna shake this up one more time. Just turning inwards, connecting with your body, your mind, and your spirit. Just scanning your body from the crown of your head all the way down your back, checking in to see how your body's feeling now, now that you've moved a little through yoga dance, maybe some of you use your voice and sang along with the songs. How are you feeling emotionally? Three more breaths here. We're going to shift and we're going to do cleansing breaths now. So a cleansing breath is when we inhale in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. So if you need to change your pose, an option here is you can come up onto elbows, bending the elbows like so, and then just gently bringing your face to rest on your fingers. So I like to think of this as like a flower opening up in the spring, and then just resting your head like a little, a little ladybug might come to settle on a flower petal. And then just experiencing a little stretch through the back. And that ringing of the bell is my dog ringing the bell to go outside. So I'll be right back, just hanging out here. Inhale, pushing your belly into the floor. <laughs> and exhale, releasing any tension or stress. Some of you might like to bend those feet, bend the knees, and perhaps just windshield wiper those legs from side to side. This feels really nice for all the muscles, through the front of the legs, 
Feel really nice for the hips as well. Now let's come to stillness. We're gonna take one final fun breath here. So inhale, belly pushing into the mat. And exhale out your mouth. And we're going to slowly rise up through child's pose. So the hands come down. We begin to rise up. Walk the knees in. And lower back down into a child's pose. So staying here for a few more breaths. I'm just going to rise up because I just want to tell you a little bit about child's pose. So child's pose is a pose that all of our bodies are very familiar with. It's one that we took um, in the womb when we were babies. It's uh, very comforting to come into when we're dealing with big emotions um, like fear, stress, anxiety. Anytime we can bring our forehead down to the ground and ground and connect, that can be very comforting for stress and also feel really nice um, for releasing tense muscles into the neck and shoulders. For those of us that maybe have headaches, feel really nice. So just add on to this child's pose. Just begin to rock the forehead across the mat, just gently massaging the front of the brow. And we'll come to stillness and inhale as you begin to slowly rise up. We're going to come to a comfortable seated position so you can sit on a blanket or a pillow. So I have a couple of things here that I wanted to share as well. Um, so another thing that I find really comforting to do, and this can be a craft for those of you that like to craft, um, this is just simply a rock, and it's just painted, and it has the word breathe written on it. Because I think it's really important to, although this is something we do, right? We breathe on a daily basis. But this is a reminder to breathe deeper. Sometimes we breathe in, we breathe very shallow, um, and we don't take those really deep, full belly breaths. So perhaps on your next walk outside, you could find a rock, if you don't already have one that has meaning to you, uh, and you could paint it. And then this could go, um, it could serve as a reminder just to focus a little bit more as we're working through these, these challenging times of all being home, um, schools being canceled, um, and you know everybody being home and, and sort of stuck inside. Uh, a bit more than we normally would. So just placing that down in front, and we're gonna come to sit comfortably. And hands can come to rest on the knees. Or for closing here, we can bring the hands together, pinky and thumb. This is called a mudra, when we bring fingers together. And just sitting nice and tall. And I brought my little, my little globe here that I'm just going to place in the middle. And we're just going to begin to close the practice now as we have our final couple of minutes. And I just want you to turn your attention to the things that you are grateful for. I'm just going to let the dog back in, Chloe's barking. So just allowing your body to settle. perhaps closing your eyes. And perhaps setting an intention for the day. An intention is something that you'd like to do. And it could be something as simple as have a glass of water when you're done, or to drink more water throughout the days, weeks to come. 
Or perhaps it's to do a kind deed for a loved one in your home. Just connecting with your breath here. And to close the practice, if you are holding something in your hands, just placing that down, putting the palms together. So we typically close our yoga practice with namaste. And namaste means the light inside of me meets and greets the light inside of each and every one of you. So let's inhale as so we bring those hands wide to the sides, reaching overhead. Exhale, the palms find one another, lower down, thumbs come to the heart. And from my home to yours, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining this yoga practice. And I wish you well, stay safe. Remember to wash your hands, drink plenty of water, stay healthy. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. If you're sitting and you're practicing with other loved ones, you can turn and bow and say namaste to them as well. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.